subscribe IN News English YouTube channel to all the big news of the world. Ever since Disney successfully bought 21st Century Fox and all their apps, including the X-Men, fans wondered if or when Marvel Studios would read Can Wanda Maximoff as a mutant, along with whether or not Magneto is her actual father since Wanda's parents were said to have been killed in Sokovia by one of Stark's missiles. There have been hints of Marvel Studios planning such a retcon, such as the Marvel Studios Visual Dictionary describing the origin of Wanda's powers in a very interesting way. Whether it altered her or merely unlocked something latent inside Wanda, the Infinity Stone on Loki's scepter bestowed incredible powers of the mind. The use of the word, latent, implies that she could, in fact, be a mutant and that the Mind Stone only triggered her mutant gene. Kevin Feige himself has now phrased the origin of Wanda's powers in an almost identical manner. In a recent interview with Empire, Kevin Feige expanded on Wanda as a character since her introduction and how much the character has been through. Feige actually described Wanda's powers as ill-defined and unexplored, which he said would be worth exploring, post-endgame. If you look at the Infinity Saga, I don't think any single person has gone through more pain and trauma than Wanda Maximoff. And no character seems to be as powerful as Wanda Maximoff. And no character has a power set that is as ill-defined and unexplored as Wanda Maximoff. So it seemed exploring that would be worthwhile post-endgame. However, the kicker in this interview was that Kevin Feige asked three questions that will likely be answered in WandaVision, relating to Wanda's powers. Who else is aware of that power? Where did it come from? Did the Mind Stone unlock it? 